Today I'm bringing you a video of the updated results of me getting my hair pressed as well as trimmed. Of course we started off by shampooing my hair. After the shampoo, we took a small towel and pulled out the excess water from my hair and then she applied some conditioner. After applying the conditioner, I sat under the dryer for about 15 minutes to let it penetrate my hair. She then rinsed out the conditioner, applied a leave-in, and braided my hair into small sections to avoid it from getting tangled as she blew dry my hair. I typically get excited when I do say the length of my hair after it's been blown out but I know that every blowout comes with a trim. Here she's just slightly pressing my hair out so that she can get a more accurate cut when she does go in to trim my ends. I hadn't had my hair trimmed in about a year so it was definitely time and I did lose some length. So after she was done pressing my hair, these are the final results and I actually wore it a few hours later in these pictures at my baby shower. So here I am a couple hours after the baby shower, it's the end of the day and I definitely want to wrap my hair but I don't want to have to apply any heat to it. I love the way it was flowing in the back so I want to definitely try to keep some of that body and volume. So to complete this process, I'm going to need all the items that I just shown you. But for this portion, I'm just going to be pin curling the top portion of my hair. Typically I will pin curl the whole thing, but for this video I wanted to just pin curl the top and I wanted the back of my hair to lay more flat. Once the first side is done, of course I move on to the other side. And I actually did not do very many pin curls. I only did about six. And I actually also did not do any in the back. If you prefer to have more volume in your hair, feel free to do more pin curls throughout your head. So here I'm just using the comb and I'm wrapping the bottom portion of my hair. But since the top portion of it is pin curled, it's a little more difficult to get it to stay. So I'm just securing the ends that are flying away with some bobby pins. Now I'm just going to secure it with my head wrap and I'm also going to apply my bonnet on top. So the next morning after removing the bonnet and the head wrap, I'm going to start by unraveling the bottom portion of my hair first. So as I start to take out the pin curls, you can see how my hair is more bouncy and definitely fluffy and able to be worked with. Now that I am looking at my hair, I'm thinking I should have done more pin curls all over. I used a little bit of hair polisher and I basically fingered combed through my hair until it looked like I wanted it to. 
After an entire takedown and fluff process of only about five minutes, I was ready to walk out the door for church. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.